Um, hi, I'm Cyrus Washington, a.k.a. Black Dynamite. Um, I got into Muay Thai martial arts when I was a kid. Uh, I was about five, six years old. Started with Kempo Karate. And I did that on and off, like most kids would, up until I was 10. Then when I turned 10 years old, I um, got into Taekwondo. And um, I stuck with Taekwondo for about three years strong, going, going sometimes twice a day. Um, for about three, four days a week. And um, I got a black belt in there. I'm a first degree black belt in Taekwondo. And after that, I got into a little boxing. And I didn't start kickboxing until I was about 17, 18. Um, and that's where I met uh, my first training partner, Nick B Bismack, after, after, uh, after getting into Muay Thai, not kickboxing, but after getting into Muay Thai, we start training. Um, start training, and um, I don't know how I got into Muay Thai in Chicago, but I know that was a person that influenced me to uh, go out to Thailand and, and pursue it as a professional career. And I went out. To, I went to Thailand 2007, 2007, 2008. I stayed for about six, seven months. Came back to the States to sell like my car and, and get rid of any, any ties I had in the States. And um, I moved back out there for a couple years. Moved back out there and I think those, out of, in those two years from 2009 until 2011, I fought 35 times. Um, during that time, I won a couple titles, smaller titles, but also during that time, I, I won a big title as well in, uh, in Myanmar for bare, bare knuckle fighting. Um, that was my first and only bare knuckle fight. It was, it was a great, great experience. Tough fight, probably looked like the elephant man, like I had knots and, and swollen spots and bruises all over my face when I got out, got out of the ring, but uh, it was great. Um, right now, I... I'm training at Satan Gym in New York, but there's Satan Gyms all over. There's one in Morocco, one in Holland, uh, one in Phoenix, Arizona. I mean, they're all over right now. But um, it's a great gym. My trainer is Aziz Nabi, great guy, great trainer. He was actually Bada Hari's first trainer. Um, uh, right now, I'm WKA world champion. I'm former WBC US national champion, WMF. Intercontinental champion, um, bare knuckle champion. Um, I have I have 88 fights. Um, I mean, I love Muay Thai. Uh, my next fight's actually September 13th in New Jersey. I'm looking forward to that. And like I said, I love Muay Thai. I love what I do. Um, my background is traditional martial arts. I guess. It, if the inexperienced person was to explain it, my, my background in traditional, traditional martial arts has uh, made me, I guess, who I am today as far as, uh, as my wins, my knockout, and things like that, which I do have a lot of knockouts from, from a back kick, which isn't really a part of Muay Thai. But um, all the hard work, and, uh, hard work and dedication to the sport, meaning like all the... Uh, the hundreds of kicks I throw a day and the knees and the teeps and stuff like that is what I feel like has helped mold me into the fighter I am today. Because to be honest, um, during training, I don't even really throw or practice the, the back kicks or spin kicks or anything like that. I guess because I had, I had done Taekwondo and, and, and karate for so long that I, didn't, I don't need to, to practice those. But the other techniques like the round kicks and the low kicks and the jabs and the crosses and all those other techniques, the elbows and stuff, other techniques that I work daily, so those are the techniques I feel like that have made me into who I am. Like to me, I don't know, like the hunger to fight, the need to fight, <laughs> it just like it doesn't, it doesn't leave, it doesn't die down, it doesn't go, go anywhere. Like I need to fight. I feel like I haven't accomplished enough. And um, being former, which I feel like I'm not, but being former WBC US national champion, like I gotta get my, my belt back and um, I don't, I don't, I feel, I don't know, I feel like the moons haven't aligned themselves like they did for me years ago, but I feel like that time's coming again, so I'll be on top 
and then when I get on top, I'll stay on top because I'm a lot better of a fighter now than I was then when the moons did align themselves, you know? So I feel like the time's coming again for me to be on top and, like, really show the guys, especially guys in the U.S., but really show guys, like, who, who, who's really the best, you know? I like to watch Simon Marcus. If he's fighting Muay Thai, like, I mean, I feel like he's, he's a beast in Muay Thai. Um, um, other, but, I mean, guys out of the U.S., there's a lot of guys out of the U.S. that I really enjoy to watch, watch fight. But there's not many, many guys in the U.S. that, that I enjoy watching. Um, international, yeah, yeah, especially the Thais, man. Like, um, uh, Sayok, um, Sit Montai, Santai is fun to watch. Um, just, just to throw a few names out there. The main thing is to be committed and dedicated to the sport and be patient with yourself because it's going to take time. Like, every... Every athlete, no matter what the sport, every athlete that we see on TV has probably been doing it 10 years before they even got like in the spotlight. So, that, so anyone starting out, they gotta be ready to like buckle down and get ready for the ride. Cause it's gonna be a lot of ups, and probably more, even more downs. It's just they have to stay positive about the ups and, and, and realize that it's gonna take time to get to the top or even close to it, you know? Training in Thailand, I mean, it's the best. It's the most technical, depending on your trainer. It's the most intense wherever you go. Um, I mean, I mean, the training is great. Luckily, or well, I'm blessed to have the trainer that I have who, who's been to Thailand, who lives in Thailand from time to time. And um, he's been doing it probably since I was born, before I was born or a little after I was born. And he has a, has a background in Taekwondo. So I'm blessed to, to have him as a trainer and to, to train me. And, and, and um, the training with him is actually more intense than it is in Thailand. And if, I guess anyone that's been to Thailand and has lived there and trained there know that I, then like I have to be training like a maniac crazy. But I'm blessed to have him as a trainer, you know what I mean? Like he picks apart every little, little thing I do wrong, whether it's the step, where I pivot, if I don't, if I keep, my, my, my head straight up instead of slipping on the, on the punch. I mean, anything, everything. But um, if you can't get a trainer like that, then you have to go. You have to go to Thailand to train if you want to pursue the sport as a professional.